Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to look at the February range and efficiency of the Polestar 2 from real world data submitted by everyone who contributes to this project. And before we get into the numbers for this month, let me bring you two bits of news coming up. First of all, I've been working on a way to submit data that comes out of the journey log uh, application in the car and I will shortly be creating a video on how you can submit your data from this journey log with just a few simple steps. The second video which is coming up shortly in, in the next week is a video of my son driving the Polestar 2 for the first time and his thoughts on what it is like to drive a Polestar 2 compared to his regular wheels. If you're interested in any of those videos, please uh, click on the subscribe button below and click on the notification bell. And then you'll be notified as soon as either of these videos drops on the channel and you can take a look at them. So for now let's get into the February numbers. So in February we received 152 submissions from everyone and the total miles in the database now is over 113,000 miles and that is nearly 182,000 kilometers. So I'm expecting possibly by the end of March we would have hit the 200,000 kilometers in the database which is giving us a great set of data to look at for these numbers. Here's our list of top contributors in February. So as you can see, uh, my name was on the top there, there no, quite a number of journeys in February with Polestar, two, Polestar Warrior coming in second place and Lucky coming in third place. Thanks very much for all your submissions. So let's take a look at the range. So this is the consumption data for long range dual motor cars. And you have highlighted uh, the February numbers. But before we, um, we get into that, let me just explain again for those who are new to this. The numbers along the bottom show you the average uh, consumption for each month of the year. Now this is not for the current year, this is for all years in the database. And since we started collecting data in September, October of 2020, February numbers that you're looking at at the bottom, 36.3 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 22.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers is the combined number for both 2021 February and 2022 February. And you can see under there the 229 tells you how many trips were submitted. Then in the top right you see uh, the chart which tells you 32.5 and 20.2. This is the average across all months on all data that's in the system. So this is uh, the average of 32.5 kilowatt hours per 100 miles across all data in the system. Then the chart in the top left shows us by month going back to when the data started being submitted. And just to remind you from September until January, September 2020 until January 21, basically the only person submitting data was myself as I was building the system and testing it. And then from January 21 onwards, so that's now uh, 13 or 14 months, we have data submitted from many different uh, users. So taking a look at February 22, we can see that for the long range dual motor, um, the average there was 34 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 21.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And the box highlighted on the left, to the left of that, is the February 2020 data. Now the numbers don't appear there for every month just because they don't they don't all fit. 
but you can see the the average in February 2020 was somewhere around just above 40 kilowatt hours per 100 miles for the data that was submitted. So there's quite a, a big drop from February 2021 until February 2022. But this could just be that in February 2020, there wasn't that much data being submitted. So as these months go by, we'll be able to compare better. But you can see it's come down from January where it was 35.7 and 22.2. So obviously slightly warmer weather helps with the efficiency of the car. These are the numbers for the long range dual motor and we're looking at over 100,000 miles in the system for the long range dual motor. The next page shows us the same data but for the long range single motor and there you can see that in February 2022 uh, we have an average of 33.1 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 20.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and this data has only started submitting since October last year so we have less than a year's data to compare there. The last one there is for a standard range single motor for which we don't have much data. You can see in the bottom left that in February there was only one uh, submission and that number was 28.9 kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 18.0 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Here we see the same data again but it's converted into miles or kilometers per kilowatt hour. Right, so there again this is the long range dual motor item uh, car and you can see there that we're looking at in February 22 3.0 miles per kilowatt hour or 4.8 kilometers per kilowatt hour. This is up slightly from January where it was 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour. Overall uh, for February, for all the data in the system, we're looking at 2.86, which is uh, lower due to uh, February 2021 data being very low. And you can see there uh, in the top part, the left hand red box shows you February 21 data where the number was somewhere around 2.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Here's the same again for the long range single motor. So here we are looking at 3.0 miles per kilowatt hour in February 22 and 4.9 kilometers per kilowatt hour. Here is the same data again for the standard range single motor for which there's only one submission in February, 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour or 5.6 kilometers per kilowatt hour. Yeah, you can see the data for the three different models on a single page. And uh, this tells you the range that you can get. So if we look at the long range dual motor, February 22, uh, the calculated range is 226 miles average. Whereas in January 22, it was 214 miles average. So it's up by 12 miles in February. If you look to the top of that page, you'll see there in January and February 2021, the average was 195 miles for the data that was submitted for that month. If we have a look at the difference between standard range single motor, long range single motor and long range dual motor, you can see there in February, the standard range single motor average was 210 miles then the long range single motor average was 227 miles and the long range dual motor average is 226 miles. This is the same data again, it's just uh, plotting on the graph so you can see the differences between the months and there you can see February 22, 226 miles average for the long range dual motor up from 214 miles the previous month. Here's our summary page that will show you the numbers for each 
of the models, long range dual motor on the left, long range single motor in the middle, standard range single motor on the right hand side. Shows you how much distance is logged for each vehicle. Shows you the average range across all months in the year and all data that we have in the system. Uh, then it shows you the kilowatt hours per 100 miles or 100 kilometers and then the miles per kilowatt hour and kilometers per kilowatt hour for each model. And then on the bottom you can see the top three contributors for each model that's in the system. So this page gives us an easy way to compare the different models and as it stands at the moment, if we compare long range dual motor to the long range single motor, we have nearly 1,500 trips in the dual motor with only 132 trips in the single motor but growing steadily. And there, if we have a look at the miles per kilowatt hour, you can see 3.2 for the dual range um, motor and 3.1 for the single motor, long range single motor. However, the, sing, the long range single motor data only starts from October 21 when the weather starts getting colder. So we don't have any sub summer months of data to um, help with this calculation. Typically, I would expect the long range single motor to come out with a higher miles per kilowatt hour but let's uh, see what happens as we go through the summer and collect more data for this model. Then we will hopefully get a good comparison between these two. If you have a standard range single motor, please submit some data. We only have five trips logged so far, 865 miles, uh, and the average range is shown at 215. Don't forget at the end of the report, we have uh, the real world range shown per country. Uh, so if you browse through there, every country that has submitted data will have its own page. Here you can see just three of them. And there you'll also be able to compare for your country the difference between long range dual motor, long range single motor or standard range single motor. That's it for this month. Thanks very much for joining. Uh, the report is available on the website at polestardriver.com. You can use the same address to submit your data. And just one final reminder of the two videos that's hopefully going to drop in the next week. Uh, one on how to submit your data using the journey log. And the second is a first drive in thoughts of a young driver driving a Polestar 2. That's it from me. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you again next month.